So, <coughs> Bearsix just uploaded his next two campaign maps. So, we'll test that out. And I'm just checking the settings he used. This was pretty interesting. That this game now looks a bit easier for me because fire burn versions only 10 plus percent of the original we are getting <coughs> materials refunded we have tool ordering there are more animals spawning in forests we have unlimited catapults Oh, but we have exhaustible water, so we have to keep an eye on water then. So yeah, let's just test it out. <clears throat> we have traveled to sea for so long, we run out of supplies and won't search for a better place to build headquarters. Most of our soldiers has deserted, we have to encourage them somehow on this god's forsaken place. I can't look on fish anymore. There are also good news. Builders claim that new construction meth methods allow us to restore every three or four materials. Ah. Use boards from ships wisely. So. Now the emergency program has been activated. Which is pretty interesting. So, this means we have to build a woodcutter here. And now we have to wait until he shops those trees here. And then we will probably burn this woodcutter. Which allows us to build a sawmill there. So it's <coughs> sorry. So it's waiting time again. Oh, no, it's not waiting time. It's uh, scouting time. Oh, do we have scouts? Yeah, we have scouts. So, do we see enemy mentations? Oh, wow. That will take us some time. So this means we need to build a military building here with enough range. Well, the barracks may suffice even here because it's eight note, right? Eight notes away. That could be enough. Yeah. Well, the good thing is. <laughs> I know how to build the barracks here, but then I'd be dead because I don't get my bots back. So I have to wait until this woodcutter is finished with this work. Oh, I didn't know a palm tree blocks this building slot. 
because having a normal tree here wouldn't block it. So it looks like I can't reach this tree possibly. Can he? I don't think so. But now I get why we have um, the 90% decreased burn duration. Where are you running? Come back. He really wants to die. When we got finished the sawmill, we can build actually a barracks with a simple trick. Because storing out boards allows them to be directly transported to this spot. So now those boards ignore the emergency program, which means I can build this barracks, which means I can build a woodcutter here. at all. We have only three privates. Which is also pretty interesting. We can possibly get over this area by building a larger building here. And that's probably why it's blocked by stone. No coins. So that is really large. We must secure as much area as possible, even with high cost. So I guess that's a hint for using the guardhouse. Do we really need the guardhouse? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it feels like the barracks could be enough. But now I'm not sure anymore. So, we have to wait until our woodcutter cuts those trees. Before that, we can't do anything. Here he is. You, you, it's, it's much younger. Prepare army. Here he is. I don't see him. There? So, no, not there. Where is he? I've already seen them. Oh, I guess that's um, on Explore. No, I don't know. I don't know where he is. <laughs> hmm. I guess this message needs some work. Also, um, we have a method that oh, which allows us to post a message with location so maybe it'd be great to have such a message here so you exactly know where you just spotted him or whatever triggered this event uh, so now I do, I do understand high kills mean I should build a fortress here 
to reach this area, but can't I wait for those spots? I will just give it a try and wait a bit. And see where this will go. Yeah, oh, that's the wrong tree. Yeah, also building a fortress here would mean I need to mine those stones. So I have to build this quarry, quarry first. And then I have to wait. Well, I guess I need to build a quarry here anyway. So no need to wait. I probably need to build a forester here. So do I have a forester? I have they aren't called foresters, they are rangers. So I can build a ranger here. Um, so I can plant some trees. But I'm not sure if I want that. I probably have no choice at all. Have I? No, I don't think so. But for now I'm not building it, <laughs> because I'm waiting for my woodcutter to cut those um, three, three trees. Well, maybe I should stop building it. I hope he has enough range for all those. Ah. I see. Maybe it's not possible to build a military building there. I feel like I should pre-calculate everything again. Come on, building spot. Damn you. So yeah, uh, this actually means I have... Oh, do I have a fishery? Fisher? I have some. So yeah, this actually means I have to build a military building there, so now I have to remember what range the fortress has. So if the barracks has 8, the guardhouse has 9, the watchtower has 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The barracks doesn't... Uh, oh. I will go with Guardhouse and just <laughs> save before. Ah, we will go with a watchtower. So let's increase, increase game speed a bit. There's no reason for waiting. It's also somewhat funny that um, Belsic stated, or well, the mission statement said um, he can't see any fish anymore. <laughs> the only thing he has is fish, and we still have um, fishers.
So, red is producing gold, red is Brutus, not Julius. I still don't know where I should have seen Julius. For a moment, and go with the watchtower. Uh, can I even build a fortress? No, I couldn't. So Watchtower is the largest building available for me right now. For a fortress I <coughs> I'd need more still. So we do need a fortress. Oh. Oh. oh I'm a bit confused. So I have to build a fortress here. But I only have seven s oh, RTTR crashed. So it looks like saving and loading doesn't work at all on this map. But now I'm confused. Oh, my pro no. I have no idea on how to solve this. Oh, no. Maybe I'm wrong and the uh, watchtower doesn't cost. And the watchtower doesn't cost like... Uh, photos costs only 8 stone, not 9. But I'm not sure, does it? I'm not sure. Hey, just have a look at it. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Fortress costs only seven stone, exactly, so I had to build a fortress there. You don't have any sound, I guess, because I forgot to change my sound settings. It's pretty sad that we can't save and load right now. But...
<laughs> That's right. Oh, because I was really confused. I thought you need nine stones for a fortress. And six stones for a watchtower, so basically any soldier needs a stone. But uh, that's probably wrong. <laughs> so. So now I will just have to wait until this fortress cuts this particular tree. Because that's the most important. I never stop the forest there until then. Nope, that's not the correct tree. Not correct. Keep trying. Nope, not correct. So now I will wait until I have at least always two bots in stock for my quarry. And when that's finished. I will build this fishery again. Oh, no, not the fishery there. Crawly. Oh, and I will restart my forester. So he can already start planting trees. I actually would like it more if you didn't need to block the fortress spot for the quarry. Because otherwise you could just start building the fortress and when the quarry is empty the fortress will be finished soon after. <clears throat> but now this is not possible. Because now we have to wait for the quarry and we have to wait for the fire burn and then we can finally um, build our forest. Ah, uh, forest. Fortress. We're not building a forest.
So, we are waiting for the quarry. I really hope I don't need to burn this fortress later for stone. I'm not sure. Do we have a new sports from Chip Wisely? Just building a road so this guy may find home. Hopefully he will. Oh, I see you need this area down here so you can build a road. Okay. So now we're waiting for the fortress. Well, I guess I can jump a bit. Oh yeah, 30,000 game frames already. Hey, and it's, it's already done. So another question is, should I build just the graphics up there? Or do I need some other building first? Well, I can build a woodcutter here, I guess. Or I hope, or here. So that's fine. I could also burn this barracks now. Because I actually don't need it anymore. So yeah, I'm going for that, I guess. And then I can build one more fishery down here. Because why not? So we have four farmers, we have pig breeder, donkey breeder, muller. Baker, we have one iron farmer only. But we have a metal worker. So let's keep wood cutting up here. And clear this area. Oh, we can search this mountain already. Also just keep exploring everywhere. Just in case. So there is some coal. Source of fresh water. I'm afraid it won't last forever. Over there, active volcano. There must be rich resources. Okay. Earth is tearing apart here. This is long. This long fold ease access to minerals. The small canyon can provide as much stone supply. What can you know? Viking settlement to the north. Too soon we shall either kill the barbarians or else we are bound to be killed ourselves. So I really hope I haven't. <laughs> this bay is underwater during high tide. Place with grass will be not flooded, however. Better hurry, each second your enemy are getting stronger and stronger. So I really hope I haven't triggered anything now by exploring. Because if so, then I'm simply fucked up now. <laughs> so I really hope he didn't add any mechanic like that. Uh, we found some water. So 
So since water is exhaustible, I will also build a well here and get this water now. Just that I can brown this well soon. Since we are producing fish, I can start fishing. Oh, I probably now understand why we have uh, increased um, tree spawn animal. So we can actually plant forests and uh, use them as food resource. I also think I have to build a fortress here. Okay. Because I can go over this place, as we've seen. Last time, I placed spirits here, didn't I? Oh, looks like I didn't. I really hope we are not playing with that add on that burns your buildings when they are out of resources. I hate that add on. I don't know why, but it, it's really annoying me <laughs> with my buildings just burn. And I'm not doing it on my own. So we should build a quarry here. Can we build watch lookout towers here? Yeah, can, great. So let's build one and check this area over here out. So this well is already exhausted. Let's just grab every water, water we can. So I have a problem, I can't occupy that uh, barracks here <laughs> because I have no soldier left. And uh, burning this barracks means my coal mine also burns. And I can't build a fortress there. So... I will have to wait now. And I guess I made already mistake by building all these barracks because if I want to build a fortress here... To go over here... I need this particular soldier. Yep. Yep. Or else I need a brewery and... Oh. What a lovely... Uh, what a lovely island. Yep. Yeah. Really yep. lovely, so there's gold, I guess. So I have to reach it. Yep. Also need yep. to reach this area over here, I guess. Anyway, I can't occupy this building, so I'm burning it. And we have cut all those trees. So let's see what military building we can build here. There's probably nothing to do. I'll just build roads. Because why not? 
I guess I'm currently waiting for this stone to be removed. I could build... Yeah, so that's a fortress spot again. We have exactly seven stones. What a coincidence. I'm also pretty interested what resource he hit over there. If it's gold or if it's or just iron. And then we will have to build a farm and a brewery. So we can brew some beer. Sorry for you. Because I need this one soldier to occupy this fortress and then I can destroy this barracks and build a f farm here. And I really hope that there's one more medium building spot somewhere, so I can actually build a f um, brewery. I really hope that. I'm also not sure if this crawl can reach those areas up there. Front home. Great. So I don't need you anymore. So let's have a look and wait for this area and decrease game speed for a moment. So, what's the best spot to place my farm? If I place it here, I could use this spot, that spot. Probably that spot, so yeah, I guess it's a good spot. So I'm building my brewery here and my farm there. So I've got five stone, which interestingly, interestingly is the exact number of resources I need for those buildings. Search this mountain. Well, we have no tools left, so it doesn't matter at all. I probably need to build a mint here. Hmm. Well, we will see.
So this looks like a crawling Jesus with a cross <laughs> somehow. And we have only granite up here. Alright then. So can you please search this spot? Thank you. Oh, it's just iron. Oh, and it looks like a watchtower would be enough. So, now we have to wait for some beer. So I guess we have some more <coughs> larger building spots down here. First we have to get one soldier who occupies this building so I can advance here. Probably need a larger building here. But since we have fish, why not build a uh, granite mine up there? Drying out now, which isn't really important. Get a nice skin tone, I guess. I 
Well, this is actually what I did when I was a little child. I always placed roads like this when I had nothing else to do. Because, yeah, well, what should you do anyway? This also means uh, your inhabitant statistics goes way up. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do right now, except building roads like this. So, I don't need this building. So, you are out of resources. And now I can improve this road. At least a bit. So, since water is exhaustible, I may also not produce more beer than I need. I don't think it really matters. Um, for the simple reason that there aren't. Ma oh, I forgot to search this mountain. I just test if I forgot some water here. Because maybe I did for building the fortress. So yeah, I've got only one medium spot, medium building spot. And I have just as much iron as coal, which could mean I should produce some tools. Oh really, this mountain doesn't contain anything. Didn't the mission text indicate that this is a... This indicates rich resources. Oh. I'm not seeing any rich resource there. I actually see no resources. Oh, I see resources. We have gold. So that's pretty good because now yellow has no gold at all. So I can defeat yellow pretty easy. But I need to spot for some mint. Which probably is here then. Uh, but maybe not. And so on. So. Well, calling those. Um, three little spots, which resource is a bit exag exaggerated, to be honest. I don't agree that this is rich, <laughs> but at least it's resources. So well, let's see what we can find in this mountain. So we have 130 water, which is good. Well, I can continue building my road system into this desert. Actually, when I 
Um, first thought about multiplayer in Settlers 2. <laughs> I always thought you could use um, flags for communication. So by building s specific roads or maybe ladders, you can <laughs> tell your partner on what to do and stuff like that. Alright, I don't need this barracks anymore. So I can get my soldier back. And build a well up there. So when playing with exhaustible water, it's pretty important that you first clear all areas from water and then build your heavy industry over it. But it depends on the map, of course. But in most cases, that's the smartest thing to do. First use up all water and then build the heavy industry over it. Because ending up with no water, well, means you ended up with no water. Let's build the barracks here for the moment. So we can't reach those stones down here. There's simply no road over to that other area. So no reason to bother at all. And when this barracks is occupied, I can probably build Look at tower somewhere here, or um, a woodcutter. Uh, yellow can't attack me because there's no road over it. So it doesn't matter at all. I, to be honest, I really would expect to not have any fisher on this map since the initial statement was you can't see any more fish. And I also think fish, at least for the moment, does actually break some ideas. For example, I don't see a problem with having enough food right now. But maybe that will come later. I'm not sure. Pretty much stone over here. So let's build a uh, look at our first and scout a bit. Because since this building is near border, <coughs> that could mean that an enemy is at least close enough to attack me somewhere. And I'd really not like him to attack me. <laughs> Also, this pretty much changes on where to build the building. So having a fortress here is a bad idea, for example. Oh wait, it's working. Anyway, no. Well, then it's not that bad. <laughs> but it's not the smartest idea. Also, since we don't need any more stone right now, I could build a storehouse somewhere here. Which is also a good idea. But I will have to wait. Alright, and I should build some worlds. So this also means I should build a well here. So let's keep an eye on our enemy. So I'm also not sure if, um, because I simply forgot, if granite was exhaustible or not. Because if not, then we probably want to stop the granite mine.
because it would use all our food. Uh, we need that for other resources. So we also don't need any more beer right now. a bit afra afraid of using a resource for something I shouldn't. So... Okay, so there he is, and I honestly think holding a fortress or something over here will lead to an attack. But I have to be quickly about it, to be honest. So... Build a mint here for a simple reason he has iron and I need that iron. So, another question is can I build this fortress without him attacking? Oh, looks like. So, that's good. Because I need to stop him using that iron up there. That's probably what um, the message tried to indicate. So let's fully occupy this fortress and produce some strong soldiers in there. So that's what I need the mint for. Yeah, maybe I'm now a bit slow in the end, which would be pretty sad. So we have 9 coins, which means we can make like 6 generals or something like that. Or 5? Not 6 or 5. So now we have to wait for our gold. So I'm pretty sure we can find some more gold here.
sounds like you're buying a building. So since I maybe want to relocate this mint, and I have to wait for all coins anyway, I will just cut those roads so all those coins now get used up. So and as soon as his last work cycle starts, I will stop him and reconnect the road and then I will upgrade those soldiers. Also having enough stone right now so I can stop this building. And get some more water. So the good thing is I can now reconnect this road because settlers are faster than good. So coal transported to that mint will take longer. Oh, we have one more gold ore. Oh, I'm an idiot then. Let's wait for those two resources anyway. Good luck I reconnected this road before stopping my production. Would have been pretty dumb. Now I can wait for those two resources to go into this building. Oh no, what are you doing? Why are you so fast? I really hope I can attack up here.
I'm also not sure what's worth right now. Uh, what's worth more right now? And I have to wait for this one coin until that one is up there. Good job, Spike. Actually, not knowing what you need and what you do need, I don't think I will need more granite, do I? Always leads to making mistakes, which is, in fact, good. But I hate making mistakes, especially so many. So this looks like a good spot for a farm, doesn't it? Well, I mean, let's not build it until I keep this building. No! <sighs> weak defenders, weak soldiers go in. Oh. I do not have so many soldiers. Now I have to wait even further. Or longer. So now setting weak defenders, getting my one general out of that building. And then setting strong defenders and getting my five weaklings out. So I'm doing that because I want to keep that upgrade castle ready. Anyway, oh, well, we've got two soldiers from here as well. So yeah, it's really badly played right now, but I hope it will work out. So I still have an upgrade fortress ready. Longer than it should take. I'm also not sure if I really should use woodcutters here. I'll just keep hunting in this forest. So I really hope they don't counter-attack at all. I oh, see I can build a road up here. Great, they can't, don't counter-attack so I can keep my general's healing. Which is pretty nice. And I can build a barracks here. So I can keep this particular spot so I can build a fortress here and hopefully hop over here. Get those resources. So, yeah, this also means I can build a farm there. And get rid of this barracks and see what I'm losing. Oh, nothing really important. 
just my road. So I'm reconnecting it. We have one medium building spot up there. And one there, so we could build... Well, something. I'm not sure what I should build there. Soldiers are still healing up. As I said, I can build a road here to connect my buildings. Maybe I don't want this particular road. Can use this road. So I don't know if this is intended at all. But it's pretty nice. I like it. So I'm also pretty sure I don't have any soldiers left. So storing them out. So are you healed up? You are. Let's attack and hope we still keep all our generals. Oh no, come on. He shouldn't die. Luck. Lost none so far, but they were pretty low life. Oh no, he's attacking this building. Damn, 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 maybe I made a mistake here. I just tried the wrong building. Oh, he's lucky. Whew. Nope, not in that building. Ah, oh, now he dies. Ow. Oh, that was a mistake at all. I still think I would have lost all those generals in the end. If I had not destroyed that building up there. But yeah, now I have to wait until my generals are back home. And I really hope he has no sort of three equipped pilot building because he now possibly can attack down there. And if he does so, I basically lost this game and can't load anything. Okay, it doesn't look like he attacks. Lucky then. Soldiers left, I'm not sure about it. So I also sent one weak soldier, so he can also occupy this building after it's taken. And he steadily still has some soldiers left. But only few. You know, I still need my generals to heal up. So 
so he has like two soldiers left. There's three soldiers left. Which is okay right now because I will just let him heal. Can also destroy this building and get my soldier back. I don't need this building occupied right now. So he will also probably not attack me because he has less soldiers than I have, so I can just kill them. That's my next attack. Alright, I should build a quarry here, I guess. Well, not there, but here. Since I don't want to cut down this particular forest, I can also destroy this for uh, woodcutter there. So I can build a hunter myself here. also has this army here, we must take advantage of natural borders. Okay, so I sh I really don't know if this is a hint that I should actually abuse um, that one particular mechanic, <laughs> which allows me to build a road up here, and then he attacks and I will just destroy the sword when then one soldier gets over this area. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure what this should tell me at all. Oh, I probably should build a barracks here to reach this spot. So yeah, but up here we have a lot of space. So we could build a really strong economy up there. But do we have the resources to use? So we have some iron, so an iron smelter and stuff like that is important now. On the other hand, I should build a storehouse somewhere up here and just set up a new camp. So basically move everything I have. Because as you see, transportation is pretty far and takes long and slow. So I, I have only only four woodcutters. So maybe I should abandon this area here and start um, building um, a wood production up here. So like building a sawmill there, woodcutter there, forest there and one uh, woodcutter up here. Of the woodcutter, I said. But yeah. So my generals are fully healed, so I can attack. Maybe search those mountains. I'm still not happy with losing one general. But to avoid that, well... There isn't so much I could do to avoid that. Only few things. So I should build a fortress here. To gain as much land as possible. I also like this area here. It's really looking cool. I love it. Yeah, well, we're building a look at her up there. And when this building is occupied, I will destroy this building and build a fortress there, hopefully. And I also don't see um, what it to be a problem at all. To be honest. So we get iron ore. 
So. So I should set up a new base up here. I will keep this fortress anyway. So yeah, that's a perfect spot for a storehouse then. And this probably also means that I will abandon this full area down there later. Well, maybe later. Not right now. So, I wanted to improve my production. I still think this is a good idea. So, I'm just doing it. I have no boats, do I? Do I have a ship right? I have one. So next question, do I really need one? No, I don't think so. I mean, it'd be nice to use this area over here, but honestly, what for? I will just build a storehouse there and stop storing in resources in um, those other buildings. And then just call it a day, so... And since I have no tools at all, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, next question is, do I need a char burner? Do I have a char burner? Do I need a tool? I have one char burner. One is better than none. But do I need one? Well, I still don't know. I'll find out. Here he is. Yo yo. It's, it's much younger. Prepare arm. Yeah, Yo yo is pretty strong. But he can't get over here, can he? Not as long as we built the road down here. So maybe I should build a fortress here to reach over there. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure what is small and what's not. And I want to improve this road. Because we can. So. Oh, <laughs> I may also kill him. Ah, no, I can't build a road. I can't build a road over there. Okay. Vikings will not be problem anymore. Let's use this land and check if there's any resources left here. So he did a pretty well job on designing this map because um, the enemy wasn't able to mine all those resources, so we could keep them for us, which is pretty neat. So I don't need this barracks anymore, but I want to put the lookout tower down there. Maybe check for resources here. So we should still have... Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to reconnect this. We should still have like two farmers. Yeah, we have two. So this means I should build two farms here. So, good thing is, we can now stop storing in anything here and just store it out. sure if I want to produce tools at all because I don't think I will I think I don't think I want want a granite. So I really think there must be gold back here because otherwise I can't reach Julius's strength at all. So yeah, just as I expected. Now the question is should I build a woodcutter first? Maybe just to make sure. Running Ray is also a great place to fortify. Which money really does he mean? Oh. I guess it's down here. Question is how do we reach over there at all? So we have lots of coal left here, so that's no problem at all. And we have lots of iron as well, so we can actually pump the soldier numbers up a bit. So that's a pretty bad road here. I'm not really happy with this world system, but that's just how it is right now. I'm also not sure if I build a fortress here, if I can keep all this land or not. Or well, maybe better not try. Still missing an armory. Yeah, yeah, armory. So I'm building one there. Maybe right up there. Oh, let's build a pig farm and the slaughterhouse here. So sadly, I have to take a short break. So I'm being right back.
So, I'm back. Sorry for a long wait. Hmm. Well, it looks like I need to cut those trees. Or getting over here. Or well, maybe I don't. Let's just build the barracks here first. Let's see <coughs> if I can build a fortress there. <coughs> hmm. well, this isn't looking so good, is it? So let's just build a road here. And block a farming spot. That doesn't really matter. So, I've got three so stone masons, so I can build one up here. Also search those mountains, what resources we have, and check what resources we have. Oh, well, let's not store out any more water. Well, it doesn't matter. We have everything <laughs> on the roads right now, so. It won't change anything anymore. Yeah, just as I thought, we can build a barracks there. A uh, fortress there. Maybe we need to build Crowy first. So we can get past this area. Lots of coal up here. So let's free up some donkeys. Don't need them back here. Here's more iron ore. Well, I'm building a watchtower here, so can we reach? <coughs> so we can reach those areas up there, and when they are mined up. Let's first place the farm here and then our watchtower. So sadly I can't improve those roads any further.
I don't want to cut this forest because this gives me free food. Oh, I forgot to build my walls up here. So yeah, storing out water and stuff like that wasn't smart. You should go really go one by one. So, <clears throat> this is a spot where I could really use uh, a pack donkey, <coughs> but I currently have none left. And I also think water, using water to produce some is like wasting um, water. Also check those areas. Oh, what I can destroy this barracks. <laughs> yeah, well, I do. Still, this road just a. Uh, Pretty bad at all. <laughs> so there's some iron all there. Alright, I should rebuild a mint probably somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere. Because I really think there's some gold down here somewhere. I need to find. That's oh, something for later because I'm not sure if I have. Oh, I could build a road over here, so building this quarry there is pretty much useless. I guess. <coughs> yeah, well, let's build a fortress and just test it. I don't think we will have any problems with stone anymore. Up all stone. Yeah, well, let's just put some wells up here and get the last water. Yeah, well, and then there's nothing else to do than building wells all day long. Ah, I forgot you. Damn. You are also used up. So, this farm is currently not occupied, that's simply because I have only four farmers and I don't want to build more scythes because I don't see a reason for it. But 
as you can see, the traffic jam is slowly clearing up. As it was here before, and now it is, well, here. So it's slowly going there. That also means I have to destroy any road that has a donkey, which doesn't need a donkey. So, like that one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or you. So I guess that's it. Oh, you forester! You are walking over here and planting trees there. Oh, I hate you. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. I hate foresters. I really do. They're always doing stuff I don't want them to. So I'm building a woodcutter here, burning this woodcutter, and actually placing the forester over here. <laughs> Hoping you won't do shit like that anymore. So I can rebuild this. Oh, there's a donkey. Oh, that's one. Yay! <coughs> Freeing them up. So we have 16 beer and um, lots of water. So right now I don't see a problem with water. Oh, see I haven't I used this water down here anyway. So there's still lots of water waiting. And we still have lots of fish. I'm missing one board. Hopefully that's the board I'm waiting for. No, it's not. It's for this coal mine. Why? Build my damn fortress. Yeah. Well. I'm waiting. All the time. To let's see what resources we have up here. I really hope for gold. Actually, I'm pretty convinced that there must be gold at all. Because otherwise I have no idea how to catch up with the military strengths. Or maybe here. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, gold. <laughs> Just as expected. Pretty good at predicting. So, what this means, I now have to. Well, no, I don't have to, but I will. Uh, move my soldier production a bit. Yeah, my, my upgrading here. Because I still have this fortress, and it's way too far away, and I want it here. So. Oh, freeing up donkeys. So, um, I will fully occupy that building with my <laughs> two soldiers that are left. Alright, I forgot to rebuild this forester. No more fish in range. Oh, after all these years. So this is just one big 
pile of gold up there. So, um, this building is occupied, so where are my soldiers? No, they are here! Damn you guys! So, disconnect this road, low defenders, disconnect this road. We said that we can't disconnect this road because that guy is trying to bring one coal there. She's too slow for. I don't want to waste the call. So now I have to wait until this guy places down his resource. And now, here we go. So. Let's try again. Oh, I forgot to reconnect this road. So no, but no soldier came out, so that's a good sign. So we currently have strong defenders, I'm setting to weak defenders right now. And then I will get my strongest soldiers out of that fortress. That way. So there's only gold up here. Else we can do except mining gold. I'd really need a donkey here. <laughs> that would speed everything up quite a lot. Oh, my bot finally arrived. After all these years. Yep, yeah, it was a pretty dumb idea to move it that way. Should always move only one resource at a time, I guess. Well, this is also caused by a uh, wrong storing out speed. It's back we currently have, sadly. So, well, this fortress is finally done. I can build a road somewhere here. Oh, well, probably here. I will build a locker tower here and check what's waiting over there.
Oh no, it's not stopped. Oh. Is this world right out or can't he load his water there? I'm not sure. Hello. Oh, no. What's happening? Why am I producing some tourists? Do I use my gold somewhere? No, 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 no. Please, no. Please, no. Space for a road through. Oh, didn't see that. So, just a little bit. So, we have one iron from there. Sadly, looks like I should produce at least one more crucible and one more hammer. Yeah, and I'm trying to move some resources this way. I stop any production down here. This will improve transportation there. So, we want the following tools one crucible, one hammer. So, we have five miners, which is enough. Because we need one coal mine, one iron mine. I mean, two coal mines, one iron mine. Per armory. We don't have so many resources that I should build more mines. Stone range is blocking our way. Stone range. So anyway, it was just told me that um, red can't reach me anyway. Actually, build a fortress here and just advance without being afraid of red. So, since I only want two specific tools, I don't want more iron in here than I really need. Just having a look at it. Boards aren't important, you can always reproduce boards. But we need iron.
F1 hammer. I'm not sure if this is just empty or he can't bring his resources out. I'm ready for one more iron, so I get my crucible, and then I will just burn that metal works again. Well, looks like the strike gem is slowly, slowly, really, really slowly <laughs> moving. Maybe that wasn't the best spot for a straw house. So I guess it's dry, it will all dried up. Ah, no, I'm not sure. Can't remember getting a message about that particular wall. So why is this a donkey water already? Yeah, sure. No. No donkey up there. And we don't need you there. Just pull another look at uh, cut those trees here and get my soldiers out of that building. Basically, red can't attack me anyway. So let's search those mountains. Yeah, 
don't need to produce anything. Uh, you shall stop producing. So this traffic jam will clear up pretty soon, I hope. I stopped this one. Oh, more coal. Maybe I should produce more quilts. How many hunters do I have? Three. Oh, even more gold. Quite a lot of gold. And more granite. <laughs> Important than water? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. Tools are pretty important. So please transport them first. So lots of coal there. One fortress up here, and should put some fortresses here, just so I have more soldiers ready for an attack than the enemy. Also move. Well, it doesn't really matter. We can move any farm. But I guess I'm moving this particular farm here. Oh, right, I still have granite mine. I don't need you, but I need your worker. So that was our first pickaxe. So I'm cutting the road. Now I can stop the metal works and reconnect those bits. <coughs> so, donkeys come back home.
So I'm just building a mill and bakery here because well, I have workers for those buildings and yeah. So we can build quite some fortresses down here, but we are still missing soldiers to occupy them. So yeah. Clearly those roads won't matter soon. Well, I will have at least pack donkeys on them. I'm really hoping to build four fortresses here, which means I need 20, no, 27, 36. Confused. I need. Ah, yeah, 36 uh, generals. So this also means I should build a storehouse down here to quickly occupy my fortresses. So and this quarry must be stopped to not clear up this road early. Yeah, so since I'm not going to occupy any fortresses right now after I finish them, I can actually fully occupy this fortress. And ready it for upgrading. Oh, I forgot something. I want those generals out there. So don't fully occupy that building. Still keeping weak defenders. And fully occupy this building. Oh now this well has to run out. Oh no, what's this one? Anyway. So the gold mine is empty. I just bought the next gold mine. I really have, make, have to make sure that I don't forget this quarry. Because if I do, that will be pretty bad for me. Because then red will just attack me. What happened here? What? Did 
the empty this building earlier? Oh, I'm confused what happened. I'm not sure. Anyway. Let's occupy this fortress. missing still. That's why I enabled this quarry again. I only have four generals now. But I need 36. But yeah, one of the problems is still this traffic jam. And that my donkeys don't occupy these worlds, but those. And I clearly built those worlds later. So I don't really know why they are occupied first. So I'm just clearing some more worlds. So hopefully those donkeys will finally occupy those worlds on top. to store anything in here except soldiers yeah and no, I'm fighting a gun am I You. Oh no. So I also want this weak soldier out there. Because when I later fully occupy those fortresses, I don't want any weakling in there. So that's why I'm just doing it this way. And since this fortress is the only of all those fortresses that, give, that gives me some new land, I will also occupy that one and hope I will find some more iron. Or maybe there's iron down here, but it's probably just um, granite. So I can sense some geologists there. And 
check that. So, yeah, well, I will just move this farm up there. We have 41 gear, so I guess that's pretty much enough. At least I hope so. to search this particular spot, or one of them. Yes, yeah, so what do we have there? Great. Let's use this. I forgot on which side there was gold and on which there was like, coal. So I have to actually research those mountains. That's why you always should place some building sites like I'm doing up here. So those votes are no longer required. Working. Well, actually, those means I can do something pretty funny. I'm building a hunter up here and a forester, and now I can just plant some trees and keep hunting in there because I simply don't need any more boards. But yeah, well. So, gold and gold. Where's gold? Where's gold? So, gold on that side, gold on that side. But no iron, sadly. I also forgot what, what's my main goal. Prepare army. Yeah, well, I'm doing good. I will leave this area up here and get this one soldier from there when this fishery is empty because I don't need those granite mines anyway. And because I have granite here and I have enough granite, I don't want to build anything at right now anymore. I don't need granite for catapults or something like that. So I don't need granite for 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 mines. So there's actually no reason to keep um, those granite mine areas. They are simply worth nothing. I am still not sure if I can really catch up with red or purple in the end. With the amount of iron I have left. Oh, we'll see that. So, we don't need any more donkey, donkeys, donkeys. Pack animals. Occupy this fortress. I can see if I can build something up there. That'd be pretty interesting. And since I fully occupy all those fortresses anyway, 
Doesn't really matter. Oh, prepare for glory. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that indicating. <laughs> because I'm actually not attacking right now. <laughs> but I guess it's just meant I got one of those spots over here, which normally means I attacked one of his fortresses. Which I didn't. But then I also didn't get the spot. Check if I can build something there. So yeah, it's it's sweating again. I just increase game speed. Pretty funny that Brassic and I are having some pretty similar uh, mechanics at all. For example, I will also have a map which requires you to hunt instead of well, normal farming. Worth nothing. I could actually build a chamber somewhere and get more coal. At least it's free. But 
I don't think I will need one in the end. Do I? At least I've got fully occupied two fortresses out of four. I also will not rebuild this gold mine area after I mine this area up. I have enough gold in stock. <laughs> so I will rather build a coal mine. Yeah, I said I will burn this fortress up here and get the soldier back. Not sure if this fortress will hold this hunter, but I will probably not hold this brewery. I can rebuild it there anyway, so doesn't matter. Just waiting for my hunter to return and we'll stop him. Just in case I lose him. Oh great, I even keep him. Now it's also hope I will get the soldier back. So he will find a way. Great. So that worked exactly as I hoped it would. Sadly, some people have lost their jobs of standing around.
Mal wird's aussieht. I'm also not sure if you have iron here. Because I forgot if I checked it. Or not, so... That means I have to rebuild those roads a bit. Or oh, maybe send some geologists first. I'm also finally stronger than Red is. So let's see if we can find some resources in there. Siren. So we have to rebuild those roads so we can build a mine there. This means I'm cutting all those roads for a moment. these roads even worse. But well, we need all iron we can get. We always said we have enough coal because we can build charm burner. But we can't produce iron. I'm actually thinking about cutting this area and building a char burner there. Pretty interesting that you have so many military helper add-ons, but you don't have manual world upgrades. That's really strange. Just a plank, bro. So I'm currently trying to just a bit improve this road system. So we now have two roads here. I still just one there, but it's not that steep anymore. So I hope that this improves transportation up here a bit.
And since we have enough iron right now, because we have 36 in stock, I won't rebuild an iron mine next, but there's coal mines down here. Also, I'm finally stronger than red. So, this is actually the moment when I should connect those roads and see if it attacks. But, I want some more soldiers defending. So I can reoccupy, actually. That's why I want to keep produce some more soldiers. Hunter's running at a very low rate anyway. So yeah, I guess I will just clear this forest and build a shower burner. I mean, you can replant this forest any time. And... It will only cost some stone, but I have enough stone. I can build stone mines, so... Granite mines. So it doesn't matter at all. So we'll just clear this area now. We also don't need any more planks or boards. So I can also stop my sawmill and use all wood I get for producing soldiers. Oh, and I nearly forgot to rebuild my brewery. So I don't need any beer right now. We also still have space for fisheries. You should never underestimate So since my mint has no gold left for refining this should also improve my soldier production because now my smelters get more iron and uh, more coal and my armories as well. Except that this particular road is still bad. <laughs> I really hope that this road will soon be a donkey road. Maybe I 
I should have built a woodcutter here. So I'm just as... well, not really, but I'm nearly as strong as... Milius. So I probably should start fighting with uh, Brutus. Just probably. Yeah, well, since we can't load anyway... I really hope that this is enough. So I let my quarry continue his work. Clear up this area, so I can build a road here. Yes, I can. That's great. So now the question is, with which building I should attack if I'm not attacked? So I should connect those roads anyway. This one's exhausted. those welds for a short moment because water is also causing this traffic jam. Those roads. Is that on a toilet? Well, it's shamed. Don't you say it's clock? Clocked. So he decides to attack me. So I decide to attack you as well. Gateway, I'm sure they've mentioned it. Oh, looks like red 
doesn't have the gate. right now which was expected Really, he killed already two generals. Oh, come on. Three generals. For sure. Four generals. Five generals. this fortress but we need this fortress so we just have to wait a moment also I can store out those generals and we'll probably destroy those fortresses anyway because there's no need for them Might be something hidden there. Let's see. Maybe some iron. I'm not waiting until they are fully healed. No, oh, don't go up there. Search there. Yeah. Nothing. Oh. That's disappointing. <laughs> I really hope for something. <laughs> Some coal. Well, I can build a coal mine there and get this coal. Why is he building a gold mine there? Is this a gold? He's even mining gold. Come on, kill faster guy. Oh, I also should pull the gold mine again, I guess. Come on, heal up. You can do it. Oh, there is gold left. I have no gold left because I may have 11 coins, but that's six here. Oh, oh six there. Oh, anyway. So, is he finally healed? He is. Win blue. Oh. Yay! So that's the right spot. Not 
probably we can build some coal mines everywhere. Well, although there's gold, we don't need it. So this fortress is blocking more fortress spots. So I will build this fortress and then destroy this fortress. Alright, I was also clearing space for a charm burner. So, there's still no donkey on this road. We have no donkeys left, and they are not needed here. So, let's just try those roads and get some donkeys. Can't water, mine's exhausted, okay. That's great. Shadow F Fantasy SF. Oh, I guess SF just means Shadow Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> we are doing our best to keep this game alive. So we are always glad to hear that someone new joined. Or joins. Or at least I'm thinking about joining the community. So, I can ignore red now. I could get all his land, but for what? I mean, it's worth nothing, to be honest. So, yeah. Doesn't matter for me. I could get some gold here, but I still have plenty of gold left, so no reason to probably raise the soldier for that, because I may lose one. Maybe not, but maybe. <laughs> well, wait until you try it multiplayer. Because it's even more thrilling. Oh, I can finally rebuild this road. Why is it still crappy? Nah. I don't want it that way. Come on, transport it away. So. 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 Well, no, it's still crappy, but not that crappy anymore. So, we are waiting for this fortress. To be ready, we are waiting for this locker tower to be occupied. And we are waiting for this gold mine to be occupied, which is now the case since this was the last mine that needs to be emptied. So, but now we also need some iron, which is our last iron then. And yeah, that's what we are doing right now. So I'm not sure anymore if I should destroy this fortress anyway. Maybe not. It's pretty dangerous, to be honest. So I rather rather fully occupy this fortress as well. Gold, but I don't need gold. 
I have some coal here, which is nice. Oh. Our geodal just, just died there. I also don't need this mining spot because it's just a granite mine. Ah, I need this gold mine. Yeah, it's finally occupied. So we want soon out of iron, but I really hope one of those mines I will exhaust as well. Confused why this mine is running at 95% although it's full with food. So we have a fortress here. Should I try to destroy this particular fortress? I guess better not. Also it's actually not worth anything, so yeah, whatever. Let's build one more storehouse, so we can move our ground from there to there. Oh yeah, as I said, we don't need this fortress, and we don't need this fortress. So we can then improve our roads a bit, and get two generals. Well, we don't actually get them, but we free them for other tasks. And that's what you should always do. So my gold mine is running again, so we get some coins and can continue upgrading. And yeah, so everything is just fine. I still haven't built my <laughs> job burner, but that will happen pretty soon. Yay, one general. Pretty funny how the AI tries to reach this gold or that gold. I did need some work. Well, there are two ways you can um, select the buildings you destroy. Either you simply can't um, notes help because one fortress holds 11 or 12 nodes. No, let's start the other way around. A barracks holds 8 nodes, a guardhouse 9, a watchtower 10, and the fortress 11. So we can just count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11, and then you know how much space your building actually holds. And you can pick the building based on that. Or you just do it like I do, you just guess. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. <laughs> but I, I don't really care about um, counting um, distances, so I am only guessing. Sometimes buildings burn in my country because I failed, sometimes not. Um, also, one good guess is, for example, I tend to build like a barracks here. So let's say this is a barracks, and I build a barracks here. And then I build one barracks down here, so I for sure know that this barracks reaches this barracks and this barracks because it's just in the middle so I can always destroy this barracks because it's held by this one and this one as well. So that's, that's the other thing to keep in mind. So that's my iron mine worker. That's visible. I actually may should make a video on, based on that. Because I made quite a lot of tutorials on some stuff, but I don't think picking buildings to destroy is one of them. But it's also pretty important to free up soldiers. Because having one or two more soldiers than the enemy can often mean you win or you lose. So 
So my iron mine is finally occupied, which is the last iron mine. I won't get any more soldiers after that one. I really hope that there, that there is iron left. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's having a percentage. So that's good. And then I will, think I will just start fighting this purple. Although I'm currently weaker than he is. So the gate must be somewhere here. Which means taking this building and building a looker tower it's somewhere there. Should give me site for the fortress. Uh, not the fortress for the uh, gate. Because we are searching for a gate. So my shower is finished. My storehouse is finished. I don't want any goods in here, but I want my generals in there. Storehouse I'm having and focus. Oh no, my fishery! Not you. This mine is exhausted. Okay. Just build more coal mines. So, are we as strong as purple? Not yet. So we suddenly have to wait. Well, if everything fails, I will also just destroy this fortress and this fortress and this fortress and get all those soldiers back. So I'm having some. Oh, here yeah, some quite some red. So we get some more soldiers, but I think we can keep up with them soon. So maybe six, seven generals are left. Oh, there's some coal here. That's nice. S version. What's the S version? Oh, uh, that's a that, uh, handheld Nintendo DS or something like that. Oh, or if that's the case, I didn't grow up with the DS because. Was way behind my when I was a children. No, well, that's not the Nintendo DS version, that's the uh, Windows DOS version from 1996. So, the DS version is actually a port from that version. So, yeah, well, we didn't grow up with the DS version. <laughs> I always wondered how good it felt to play this on, on a DS because you had really only a tiny view, couldn't see much, could you? Although I'm almost, I always wanted a DS just for um, that case. I never got one, but um, always wanted one. Yeah, but no, we are not. I don't know when did the um, DS version release. <sighs> so 
Christmas to Nintendo DS release. So when was that? No, it was not in 1996. Oh, it's pretty funny. It was in 2007. Or oh, third orders. And actually, the first playable version of RTTAR is from 2006, so. Well, our version is even older than the S version. <laughs> uh, at least our first version, so. <laughs> I have to disappoint you. We didn't grow up with that version. So, this sounds like you're a fan of um, the next generation, are you? zoom out further if you like to and see even more also I never zoom out <laughs> I'm always playing at 100% so Should have great. So now I'm just as strong as purple. So this might be the moment when I should attack, but on the other hand, why should I gamble if I can just wait for a, for an easy win? Right. Maybe I should build an iron mine here. Oh, well, my shotgun is also working. Hey, it's Fraka official. I still have no idea how to pronounce your name. Zvraka. Zvraka. Ow! Sorry, Shadow Fantasy, I just understood your question. Sorry, I totally <laughs> misunderstood your question. <laughs> I thought you were sad that we grew up with the DS version, so we used the old Titleist 2 and not the next generation Titleist 2, but you actually meant if we went through the pain of playing that version. Now I get it, sorry. Zvraka? Zvraka? Yeah, well, I will just do it like with Hester's sauce, where you just speak it uh, really fast and nobody understands what you are saying, so Zvraka. So you don't understand the beginning of my. Uh, uh, of the word I'm saying, but. you will <laughs> guess it's your name if I say Zvraka. That's good enough. Uh, sorry to hear that you played that version. So I'm years later. I'm now happy that I never had a Nintendo DS and never played that version. I guess. So I never went through that pain. I mean, how could he not like Cyclops 2? Although I think on a Nintendo DS, real-time strategy games aren't that fun, are they? I mean, I'd expect some 
round uh, turn-based strategy games like Battle for Westland or something like that to work way better. So well, let's just attack and see what's happening. Oh, he has lots of officers there. That's interesting. Some weak soldiers in there. Oh, I'm confused. Does he have lots of weak soldiers? Ah, oh, his strong soldiers are somewhere else. Fortress there. If I could kept his fortress. I think I won't. No, I won't. Oh, there the guy is. Right. Oh, that's really annoying. Kind of input lag. So I'm really thinking about destroying that fortress in front there. So I can build a fortress here and go closer to him, but I guess that means it will just take longer, won't it? Well, I shouldn't connect this road anyway. I just counter attack. I'm trying to destroy this fortress now. Get my generals back. So, the reason why I'm doing that is because my generals were low HP. So, they pretty sure will simply die. If um, that attack launched now. So, by destroying that building, I get my generals back and they can probably heal up if they find back and don't die. So I'm losing less soldiers than he did. And even if he rebuilds a fortress there, then I can just um, attack it. So, and if my fortress here is finished first, well, then I can occupy it. So, that's why I did it at this point. And as you can see, um, this time I'm just keeping way ahead of him. Because he couldn't attack my weakened generals and just kill them, because they'd simply die. And yeah. So that's why I did it that way. Although it takes more time, 
I just wanted to make sure I don't have to wait for more soldiers, because that would even take longer than waiting for a fortress to be built. And as you can see, he even builds fortresses for me, so that's nice of him. Well, actually, I normally don't play with um, showing HP. But since this is a scripted mission, um, Belsec decided to not let the player decide if he wants to use um, military hit points or not. I'm obliged to play with hit points, so I can't change it right now. But normally I play with um, less quality of life features because it makes this game harder. Because as long as people make mistakes, it gets harder for them. So I normally also don't play with the storing out button here. So yeah. Don't blame me for that. If that's what you mean. So let's see if he can occupy those fortresses. I really hope he can't. At least not both. Well, that one might be okay, but not this one. Occupy that fortress. So, since we may occupy the other fortress as well, yeah, it's only weak occupied. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I can close some big soldiers. Yeah, I know that, but we change that behavior because it's pretty unfair in lots of cases. Well, in most cases, it's just unfair. I have GTRs made for multiplayer, so yeah, that's, that's one of the points. Always have to keep in mind. this time. So if I only lose one soldier, maybe he dies. No, certainly not that many. Home, please don't die. That's the wrong direction. Go this way. Go this way. Oh no, not there. Come on. Yeah, that's better. No, no, no. Yes. No, no, no. No, no. Oh god. Come back. Yeah, no. Oh, oh. That's the wrong direction. Those are not blue. Those are not your friends. How oh, did he find home? Oh, looks like he did. Lucky me. So this was a pretty good fight for me. I lost only one or two generals. I killed lots of his generals, so... That was really, really lucky.
the problem um, with yeah, he will get it alone. <laughs> the problem with instant healing is the following: when you attack and your soldiers instantly heal, you can just keep uh, attacking and continue and just rush through without giving the enemy any opportunity to um, reorganize. Oh, he's producing gold. Oh, that's bad. And in multiplayer, this is even more frustrating than in single player. I mean, the AI is always dumb and you can always outplay it. Oh, I put gold mines here. I don't need you. Um, but in multiplayer, it's simply annoying. I mean, even now, it's it's just like when you lose your first buildings, you normally just lost. Because um, losing the first buildings in most cases means you have a weaker army and the enemy can just um, rush through your land. I mean, it's not really meant for multiplayer, is it? So he can't occupy that building. Oh, stop it. Can't occupy that building anymore. Which is good. So I'm now waiting for this fortress and then I will just attack again. And get that gate. So since this was a small map, I hoped um, it won't take that long. Uh, I don't trust it, so. I'm not sure if I will play the second mission today, but I will see. So, fortress. Come on! So he will probably attack when I occupy that fortress, because it's just occupied with one soldier, so I'm just attacking right now. So I'm faster than him. Yeah, see, he attacks. I knew that. Why is he defending? No, he's attacking. Yours escapes through portal quick before they will gain new army. So yeah, well, we reach the next gate because I occupied it. <laughs> well, that's actually the reason why in my campaign I won't use this gate mechanic at all. Or well, maybe I will. I'm not sure. Because now I've just won and but well, okay, I won anyway, but um, if he counterattacked me and got this building, well then I would not win. Did I? I'm still wondering what this is saying. For me it still looks like crawling guy holding up some Christian cross. Huh, I have no idea what this is doing. Oh no, I guess it's his name. It's bear... Oh no, oh, it's a B, it's a E. And then it's, well, it's a Y maybe, still no idea what this is. Yeah, well, whatever. So that's this campaign for now. Yeah, but also this campaign still makes me think about one particular problem 
if you have to balance maps, you need to make sure that the player has at least a bit more resources than the AI, because if not, the AI will just uh, the player will just lose in most cases. So that's why I'm thinking using inexhaustible mines is for campaigns maybe a better idea. Yeah, but this still still is something, isn't it? Or maybe it's a slash. B E slash. Oh, well, I have no idea. Maybe not. So that's a little letter, isn't it? Oh, maybe it's a written R. So it's B E R. And then, well, I mean, his name is Berthic, isn't it? I've forgotten what his name is. It's Berthic. I'm pretty sure. Berthic. Oh, it's with a Q. Huh. No idea. So well, that's the next mission, but I'm not going to play it right now. Maybe later today. I will see. Oh, there's also Bert. So it's really Bert. Maybe his name is Bert. Oh, is that hidden in, on all maps? That's pretty funny then. And I have to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surrender. Is there also a bird hidden? Doesn't look like, does it? He only has the spider thingy, but no bird. Well, then that's maybe not hidden on every map. Highlands looks like a little bird. So you mean that one? So that's looking like a well, that's looking like a bee, okay. Well, if you want to interpret a bird into this, then you can see a bird in this, I guess. But you can pretty much interpret anything in here. Can't you? Well, maybe it's also eight. Um, maybe it's also an eight and then um, two, because this leads to mission eight. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, so it's bad, I guess. Because you use bread on the other map. Yeah, but that's it for now. I said I'm going to do something else right now. And then maybe later today I will play the second mission he uploaded. So for now, I only dislike that you actually need. To, well, you, well, you actually need to use this spot for getting the stone, and then you need to, to build a fortress, which I pretty much disliked. Simply because it takes longer that, that way. And did I dislike something else as well? I'm not sure. I only know that the AI failed to um, use the resources here. Because I fucked up their road system.
but I guess anything else was just fine, was it? Can't remember any further thing that annoyed me. Oh, well, I think he should play without fish. I guess those are my two feedbacks I'm writing him. Because um, having enough fish really meant I didn't need much water at all. So, yeah. yeah, well, that's it for now. So, see you guys around. Thanks for watching and stuff like that. Subscribe, whatever. I have no idea what you should say. Because I have no idea. <laughs>